Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Out of a rather stormy start to our day, we've had the cloud cover lingering with us, and now we're seeing the redevelopment of a few spotty showers here. No lightning being indicated on the Storm Team 10 storm tracker this afternoon, but certainly some spotty showers, even some moderate rainfall being indicated near uh, portions of Cumberland County, near Newton, Illinois, and to Robinson, that is across portions of Crawford County. Now you see near the city of Sullivan, and even northern portions of Knox County just getting in on some spotty rain showers right now. Nothing that's going to be too widespread, but this is going to change as we look ahead at the afternoon. A line of storms is developing back to our west, and this will potentially bring in some stronger storms to the valley. That's why the Storm Prediction Center encompasses the entire Wabash Valley in that slight risk category to see some of those stronger storms later today. Now, I do believe the threat of severe weather is higher to our south. That's where you see the orange orange highlighted here. That is a moderate risk. It does not include the Wabash Valley, but nonetheless just shows the weather pattern that we have out there today as a line will press through impacting pretty much a good portion of the eastern half of the U.S. Outside here again, we've had the cloud cover around so far today. A pretty overcast gloomy start to our week. But at least it's warmer. I'm sure you've noticed that if you've been outside, winds picking up out of the south at 15 miles per hour, really pumping in some of that warmth. We're at 70 right now on our way to the low to middle 70s for daytime highs this afternoon. Now here's a look at that bigger picture. We have the center of low pressure that's down to our southwest, inching its way closer. And as it does, that's what's going to bring in all of this rain activity. You can see some storms on the leading edge of that. We've actually had some tornadoes confirmed to our south across portions of Arkansas so far today. Again, this is the system that we're keeping a close eye on as it moves closer to the Wabash Valley. So let's time this out on Futurecast beginning at around 1 o'clock. Again, there will be a lull in the rain action this afternoon, perhaps just a spotty shower here or there, a thunder shower possible as well, but not a lot of widespread rain to speak of, at least through about 5 p.m. Then things are going to start to ramp back up beyond 5 o'clock. This is what Futurecast is predicting around 7 p.m., getting things really ready to go over in Illinois from west to east as this line will start to move through right around 7 p.m. That's a good starting point as far as timing of this system to move through. As we continue through the rest of our evening by about 8 o'clock, we'll step through future cast here pointing out the specifics. Could see some stronger storms embedded within this line. Eventually that severe threat will press off to the east. Some lingering showers mainly around midnight and as we continue through the overnight hours, that's when we'll just see some lingering rain. That severe threat will come to an end end after midnight. Futurecast rainfall potential. We've seen about two tenths of an inch so far today. And as we continue through the next 48 hours, anywhere from one to two inches, perhaps just a little bit above two inches over in Mattoon. So a significant amount of rainfall. In addition to that, we can also see some 60 mile per hour wind gusts or higher. So some damaging wind gusts, also a concern. Some brief spin ups can't rule that out either, although that tornado threat does look to be rather minimal as we head through the rest of our day. Futurecast will keep rain showers in as we begin Tuesday morning. That unsettled pattern continues with that low pressure system slowly going to exit to our east, but we do keep rain in the forecast all the way through next Thursday. So for today, scattered storms this afternoon, warmer with gusty winds, a high of 76, and then that primary threat is going to be some damaging wind gusts this evening as that line moves through mainly around 7 o'clock through around midnight. Rain changes continue through Thursday, then we dry things out for the end of the week, but temperatures turn cooler with highs in the 60s.